always talk about how timing is everything on here and just to give y'all a little background nothing crazy um the video that we dropped earlier today uh that talked about how the ravens were still in continuous conversations with free agent wide receiver odell beckham jr that video was actually recorded yesterday but right after we recorded that video the news that greg roman was out of the runnings for the stanford head coach job that news had dropped so we recorded a video on that and dropped that instead um but coincidentally we dropped that video this morning about odell beckham jr uh, and how the ravens are still in talks with him and i said in that video that talks are cool but talks are talks talks are nothing serious um the real seriousness starts with a visit because he's visited with the bills the cowboys and the giants so those would be the three teams that i would consider seriously interested in one odell beckham jr but josina anderson who has been covering this whole odell beckham jr saga she dropped something that seems like the ravens made seriously be interested or at least they just want to check off some boxes with odell beckham jr just to see where he is let's read it report says from league sources the cowboys currently figuring out what's best for the team now and in the future years and odell beckham jr figuring out what's best now and in future years um the giants have their initial threshold now the ravens the ravens they had an end of the week visit on hold while Beckham Jr. regroups and stays connected. So he was apparently supposed to visit with the Baltimore Ravens at the end of the week, at the end of this week. So again, that would let me know that the Ravens are actually maybe seriously interested in him since they want to actually bring him in. Now, we have seen before where Ravens, they, they're bringing a player for a workout, a tryout or whatnot. And it can mean a lot of different things. There have been plenty of players where they brought them in for workouts and trials or whatnot just to get their names buzzing around the league again, just so they can hopefully get another opportunity. Odell Beckham Jr. would not be one of those cases. They would not bring him in for uh, a visit just to get his name buzzing. His name is already buzzing. He does not need the Ravens to get his name circulating around the NFL again. So you would have to believe that this would be a serious... Uh, this would be a serious... Um, Serious interest. Serious interest. Uh, because the last guy that they brought in, older guy, veteran guy, um, for a visit was Deshaun Jackson. We know how that went. The last goal guy before that who they brought in, older guy, veteran guy who they brought in for a visit was Jason Pierre-Paul. We see how that went. Um, so I do think that the Ravens would seriously or may seriously be interested in Odell Beckham Jr., but they want to just see him for themselves, see what kind of shape he's in uh, for themselves. They want to really see uh, what Odell Beckham Jr. can do. Um, still, I uh, Odell Beckham Jr., he'll be cool, um, but my, my fear, I, I just, I don't feel like he would, push the Ravens over the top, that he would just be the guy that could get the Ravens where they need to be at. Uh, because I would be scared about his injury history. Like Odell Beckham Jr., amazing receiver. Beast. Uh, Y'all know all the highlight plays and whatnot. He even got some on the Ravens. Remember that uh, the, the, the Giants game? I forgot what year it was, whatever year it was. Jimmy Smith, beginning of the Giants game, it was in... East Rutherford, wherever that stadium is that they share with the Jets. But it, they were playing the Giants in an away game for the Ravens. They're playing the Giants. Early in the game, Jimmy Smith is locking Odell Beckham Jr. up. He can't do nothing. Then Jimmy Smith, he went down. And Odell Beckham Jr., he went off. And he started going crazy. And then he even caught the game winner where he, the, the Ravens are tripping. The Ravens cornerbacks tripping over each other. And he goes in for six. He starts dancing. That, that, was, the, that was a game where he was, uh, I think he was just end up hugging and kissing the net. I think that was that game. But anyway, Odell Beckham Jr. went healthy. Oh, man. Amazing. Amazing receiver. Big time playmaker. But that's the thing. Went healthy. I mean, hey, I mean, he, he got a highlight from the, on the Ravens last year. He was over there d doing the bird flu at M&T Bank Stadium. Oh, Odell Beckham Jr. All right, now hold up now. Ooh, for pushing the level of disrespect. But so so we know what he's capable of. We know what he can do. But it's just the, the injuries. That would be the part that scare me personally. Um, so I mean we'll we'll see. 
we'll see what happens. Now, another report came out um, today, actually. Again, timing is everything. It came out today uh, that talked about how Odell Beckham Jr., he's not really thinking about playing in the regular season. He's thinking about playoffs. He only wants to play in the playoffs. And I was, okay, well, I mean, it makes sense because, again, it does not seem like he's in a rush. Doesn't seem like he's in a rush. Even, again, with this report, with Odell Beckham Jr., how he was scheduled to visit with the Baltimore Ravens at the end of this week. But he just, he, he put it on hold. He put it on hold. Like, a visit with the Baltimore Ravens, it can only help him out. Not saying him joining the Ravens, but him, a visit with the Ravens can only help him out. Because if these other three teams that he's already visited with, if they are really interested in him, and he goes and visits another team... Then it could make those other three teams like, oh man, he's getting more interest. We, we got to make the offer higher. We, we got to become the highest bidder. We got to sweeten the deal for Odell Beckham Jr. So I, he really must not be in a rush if he's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to go visit with the Ravens. Oh, you know what? Let me put that on hold. Let, 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 me, let me chill for a minute. Let me just, let me, let, let, let me relax. So that would really make the uh, that report that came out about him. I, I think they said that he actually said something like last night during the game uh, on the shop that he wasn't looking to play until the playoffs. I, I believe so. It, I don't even think it was a report. It was just that he actually said that. But I got to double check them. But either way, wh whether he said it or not, it just does not seem like Odell Beckham Jr. is in a rush uh, to really do anything. And I mean, hey, it's his career. He, he done made a lot, a lot of money. So it ain't like he like fiending for money or anything like that. I mean, you still, it's the NFL, so you still want to try to get as much bread as you possibly can. But it ain't like the dude, his pockets are empty or anything like that. No. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens next with the Baltimore Ravens, with Odell Beckham Jr., if they even can get a visit going. Um, but, yeah, I, I would just still be, I, I would just be so concerned over the injury the injury history with Odell Beckham Jr. and possibly further injuries with Odell Beckham Jr. Because he's over his career, he's missed a lot of time. He missed significant time with the Giants due to injuries. He missed significant time with the Browns due to injuries. With the Rams, I mean, he was only on the Rams for like <laughs> two minutes. Um, but he, that's that's when he got hurt in that uh, in the Super Bowl, obviously, after he went off. He was doing his thing and then he got hurt. It's like, oh, man, they, he couldn't even finish the Super Bowl. Like that's that's I felt real bad for him, man. Cause I'm like, man, this is the biggest game of your career. And you were making an impact early. So we would expect, oh yeah, he's gonna continue to make that impact. But he got taken out of Super Bowl. And now he's missed this entire season thus far. Um and Josina Anderson talked about how I think she talked about how in his previous ACL uh recovery, he came back at the eleven month mark. Um and she said he will he will soon be at the 10th month, the 10 month mark with this current uh, ACL recovery. Uh, and one more month, if he comes back at the 11th month mark again, then that will put him right there for the playoffs. So that that would make sense why he wouldn't really be in a rush. But yeah, that's that. So anyway, I love y'all. Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate y'all so much. And until the next Odell Beckham Jr. update, we out.